Next we have some fraction problems here. 5 eighths plus negative 3 sevenths. Okay, it may look confusing at first, but it really isn't. You have two ways to get started. One is to find the common denominator. The other one is, which I might like to do here, is there's plus and minus. We have a shortcut for that, right? We can just write minus in their stead. So it's 5 eighths minus 3 sevenths. Looks simpler. And now we will need a common denominator, which does 8 and 7, so we use 56. And 56 here too, and there's going to be minus between them. The plus and minus went into minus. Then over here, we get 5 times 7. And over here we get 8 times 3. And now it is easy, right? 35 minus 24, we get 11 over 56. The next one is a negative fraction here and then a subtraction. So this would mean negatives and more negative situation once again. So you could add these fractions, add their absolute values, and then take the answer as negative. I'm not going to write it that way here though. I'm just going to keep it as it is, negative and minus. Again, we need a common denominator, 170 this time. And there's a minus here, and there's going to be minus here. We get 17 times 3, and over here, 5 times 10. Okay. Now the final answer will be having a denominator of 170. But what goes on the top, you take negative 51 minus 50. And that is just integer subtraction, right? We're dealing with integers here in the numerator. You take negative 51 minus 50, which is negatives and more negatives, we get negative 101. And we'll put the negative right there in front. So it's a negative fraction as an answer. Now I have a different question for you. In what kind of a real-life situation might you need to calculate this kind of a calculation? Negative one-fourth of a mile minus three-eighths of a mile. Think about it. Okay, I'll tell you my idea. And that is, if you think of elevation and then you think of depth of an ocean, this negative one-fourth of a mile would be a depth. It would be one-fourth of a mile below the surface of the sea. And then this means that, okay, let's say we have a submarine at that depth. And then that means that the submarine goes lower, okay, three-eighths of a mile more down. Let's solve it too. We have eighths and fourths. We need a common denominator, but this is pretty easy. We just change this to two-eighths, okay? Can you see that? There's negative two-eighths and then negative three-eighths. So we would get negative five-eighths of a mile as the final death. Next one. Find the distance between 12,500 feet and negative 5,200 feet. Again, we're going to think of elevation and depth. So this would be like a mountain top, and this is like some kind of deep ocean trench. Okay? What's the distance between the two? Mountain top, and then way down in the ocean. What we will do is we will simply add the absolute values, right? This and this. We added 12,500 and 5,200, so we will get 17,700 feet. Technically speaking, if there's a find the distance problem, you would subtract, right? But if you take 12,500 minus negative 5,200, you have this minus minus there, and so then you add. At what distance are negative 110 meters and negative 35 meters? Again, think of depth. These would be both below the surface of the ocean. Maybe there's a diver here and a diver here. Or the same diver is rising or whatever. What is the distance that the diver rises? The way I think about this is, if you think of a number line, those two numbers are in the negatives, okay? Let's put zero here. 
and those two numbers are somewhere in the negatives, and the distance here is the same as the distance of the opposites. Okay? So I can take the positive 35 and 110 and figure out the distance here. That's the same distance as the opposites, the 110 and 35. Okay? Subtracting here, I get 75, right? So the distance here is 75 meters, or the difference. How far apart are zero, negative 0 0.7 and negative 8 elevenths? How far apart? What is the distance between these two numbers? Okay, they're both negative numbers, so we can use the same idea we just used. If I have two negative numbers, and how far apart are they? I can look at the opposites on the positive side and figure out how far apart they are. So this is the same question as if I change them both to positives, right? Just need to find the difference. To find the difference, I subtract. This one is a decimal, that's a fraction, so there's a problem there, right? They both need to be either fractions or both decimals. This one is easy to write as a fraction, it's 7 tenths. So let's take 7 tenths minus 8 elevenths. This is just a simple fraction subtraction. We need a common denominator, and if I multiply those, we get 110. Then over here, 7 times 11. Then over here, 8 times 10. And subtract the top numbers, 77 minus 80. We get a negative number here, okay? How's that? Negative 3 over 110, which that is the same fraction as negative 3 over 110, like that. So did something go wrong? How far apart are these two numbers? It's asking for a distance. Distance cannot be a negative number. What went wrong, so to speak, is that I accidentally subtracted the smaller minus the greater number. If I had thought about it, if I had known which one is the greater number, I would have sub subtracted them the other way. But the answer, you know, if I had subtracted this the other way, I would have gotten 80 minus 77 here. So the answer, I can still figure out the answer from this one without having to redo the whole subtraction. I can just write it as 3 over 110. That's how far apart they are. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.